We all know that intermittent fasting can give you some absolutely insane results when it comes to weight loss. And in today's video, we're going to be covering the negatives and side effects of intermittent fasting. So stay tuned. What's up everybody? It's Jay here from Bearded Iron. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for dropping by. On this channel, we discuss weight loss tips and tricks to help you guys achieve your goals. So, I've been intermittent fasting on the 16 and 8 protocol now for around 8 weeks. And like everything I do in life, before I gave it a go, I researched the hell out of it. There's absolutely thousands of videos out there that discuss intermittent fasting and tell you all the benefits and exactly what it can do for you. Some people have seen absolutely amazing results, and to be honest, so have I. But there's not much out there that show the, the cons to intermittent fasting, the negatives, the side effects. So, let's go straight to the point. Now, before anyone starts to worry, I want to make it perfectly clear that most of these side effects are temporary. So they just require a little bit of willpower and a little bit of focus to basically push through them. But I want to set the expectation for any beginners out there who are wanting to give this a try. There's pretty much pros and cons to every single diet out there, so you need to work out what works best for you. So let's get the obvious one out of the way. The hunger and the cravings. I mean, at the end of the day, you're skipping meals and you're going for an extended period of time without eating. If your body's used to getting food at a certain point during the day, your body is going to start feeling hungry around these times. I mean, at the end of the day, you're essentially breaking a routine that you've probably had for most of your life. I mean, your body's going to create saliva and hormones and stomach acid ready for these meals at your set meal times. And then when the food doesn't arrive, you're going to feel hungry. Now, for me personally, this lasted about three days. It took my body three days to get used to not eating breakfast. I've mentioned it in a previous video, but I did find that a strong black coffee really helped me get through these periods and almost helped me forget about the hunger. The next side effect is you become absolutely obsessed with time management and clock watching. And I'll be honest, this was me the first few days. I break my fast at about 1 p.m. And on those first few days, it would get to, you know, 12.45 and I'd be absolutely starving. I'd be looking at my watch thinking, God, this 15 minutes is a long time. You know, in my head, these 15 minutes were going to make all the difference to my progress. And in reality, it doesn't. When I say I eat in an eight hour window, I am extremely liberal with that. The main point of intermittent fasting for me is skipping a meal to ensure that I'm in a calorie deficit. I usually eat a small meal at around 1 p.m. And then I usually have a double scoop of whey protein at around 4 p.m. And then I tend to have a big feast, you know, a big thousand calorie meal at around eight. In total, this usually adds up to around 1800 calories, which is my daily allowance when on a 500 calorie deficit. So as long as I stick to these three meals, it doesn't really matter when I eat them throughout the day. My net total calories won't change. And remember, you, d you don't have to fast every single day, seven days a week. If you're out for a family meal or a wedding or celebrating someone's birthday or something like that, just enjoy yourself and then just make sure you jump straight back onto the intermittent fasting the following day. The whole point of intermittent fasting is it is extremely flexible. The next side effect is digestive issues. Things like nausea, bloating, constipation, diarrhea. The reduction in food intake and the change to your schedule can negatively affect your digestion causing things like constipation. Now, dehydration is another common side effect that can also worsen the stomach problems. So it's essential to stay properly hydrated. And it also helps to choose nutrient-dense food that is extremely high in fiber. And next, we have irritability and just general grumpiness, or as some people call it, hangry. Now, a lot of this is due to the changes in your blood sugar. When your blood sugar is low, it can cause you to be irritable. Low blood sugar can occur during periods of calorie restriction or fasting, which, as I say, does lead to irritability, anxiety, poor concentration. But again, once your body gets used to this new schedule, these things will lessen over time. Now, the next side effect is a bit weird, and it might just be me because I can't find any examples of this anywhere else. So if it impacts you, I'd be interested to know. So let me know down in the comments. And what I'm talking about is sleep disturbances. So either not being able to fall asleep, or if I do fall asleep, waking up in the middle of the night and not being able to get back to sleep. I find I wake up at sort of 1 a.m. and I just cannot turn my brain off. I'm just overthinking absolutely everything. I'm thinking about what I'm eating. I'm thinking about calories. I'm thinking about what I'll be doing in the gym later. I'll be thinking about what I'm doing at work. I just cannot switch off my brain. I just seem to be overthinking and overanalyzing absolutely everything. But once again, this does seem to be temporary. It lasts three or four days, but then once my body gets used to it, I'm back to sleeping seven to eight hours every night without disturbance. So the bottom line when it comes to intermittent fasting is that 
You know, several studies have linked it to a number of health benefits, including lowering the risk of heart disease, weight loss, increased blood sugar control, and much more. Now, healthcare professionals do recommend that not everyone should intermittent fast. There's, a, you know, there's certain groups of people out there who this shouldn't really work for, and those people are, you know, expectant mothers, people with eating disorders, people like that realistically should probably avoid intermittent fasting. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy these Bearded Iron t-shirts. I'll pop the link in the description. If you found this video even remotely useful, please let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions, you can find me over on Instagram. And as always, thanks for watching. Bearded Iron out.